Robbie Rihanna here, and listeners, I got a bone to pick. I am sick of Bagan's propaganda. I mean, it's all bullshit. Seriously, who writes this stuff? Who do you have a PhD in writing bullshit? I, it has to be soul crushing just typing out thousands and thousands of lines of the same shit, saying every day, hey, Bagan is great, Bagan is wonderful, Bagan is awesome, Bagan is an amazing golden god who pisses out champagne and shits caviar. You know, actually, if I could piss champagne and shit caviar, what I would do is I would bottle and package that and then sell it to rich people as a premium. That would be great. And then I would just stuff my face with lots and lots of, like, sock paneer and make sure that I could just keep the shit and piss going. I, I would I would be generating my own income. That's pretty awesome, actually. I'm losing the thread here. Bagan's propaganda. Back to that. Okay. Bagan's propaganda sucks. Okay, it sucks a huge dick. I know I'm not alone here because someone's been going around and switching the bell towers to this frequency so that you can hear my lovely voice. And, and whoever's doing that, thank you so much for doing that. You know, when I first started this show, it was just me and Chotu in this bunker and, and me just yapping my brains off and Chotu just not delivering what he needs to do. I mean, I, I, by the way, if anyone out there wants to be a sound engineer, please, let me know, call in. I, I would be happy to replace you.
Sabal says I shouldn't be doing this. I am teaching you to protect yourself. Ah, the tourist. I'm Amita. This is Badra. Hi. Keep walking. Look, I overreacted back there. We're at war. We keep losing soldiers. The work keeps piling up. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier, but I want to help. Okay. Sure. There's a farm not far from here. Kanan runs it, but she's old, and she could use your help with some wild animals. I need you to keep the hides intact, so use this. Badra. What are you... Pick it up. Try again. Very good. Amita sent me over. She said you might have some kind of wild animal problem. Hey, Amita, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. <sighs> Wolves are a common nuisance for Kanan Farm. She's killed off a number of them, but this year they're especially aggressive, and I'm worried about her. There's a den nearby. Clear it out, huh? I think Kadan has supply stockpiled somewhere on her farm that you can use. And Ajay, skin your kills. We can always use the pelts.
Hey. Badra, how are you? Good. I, uh, brought you these pelts. I thought maybe you could use them. Hmm. These are good, Ajay. But you keep them. She has enough for her Tanka paintings. I'm sorry, Tanka what? This one is about the life of a guru. This one is about the demon Yalung. This one is about the goddess Kira. And that one is about Badra. The next Tarun Matara. The Tarun Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child, being treated as an object, thing. <sighs> Thanks for your help. Later, I'll show you how to put those to good use. Ajay, will you have time? Go see Longinus. He's a friend to the Golden Path, and he'll be great. Longinus, you said? Yes. He's a weapons dealer and a priest, if you can believe that. Longinus is a little crazy, but if you want guns, he's the man you should see. I'll update your map. Take it. It's not even my car. Someone had better do something about those wolves and soon. Can I have any Hello? Your business is appreciated. You're listening to Rabbi Rayana on Radio Free Kirat. Okay, you guys know those old KBO minds? The word is that Yuma, Bagan's number two in command, is in charge of them now that KBO has gone kaput. Okay, think about that for a second. A former triad badass from Hong Kong is also in charge of the biggest mining operation in Kirat. <laughs> Word is the working conditions in those mines are awful. I mean bad, you guys, bad. Kids. Shops in China are like, come on, you guys deserve better. But what are you gonna say? What are you gonna really say? Oh, excuse me, madam, my helmet doesn't meet current safety standards. Excuse me, scary lady, holding a machine gun to my face. Uh, 
I don't think these mining machines are up to code. Yeah, good luck with that. camps buggins got set up all over the place one of them and i'm not making this up you guys one of them is actually called shining minds wow it sounds like a luxurious library no it's not okay come on buggin you think we're stupid over here was brainwashed torture facility already taken <laughs> who are you fooling with that name yeah come on if they're going for the whole Jim Jones and David Koresh crowd, they've got a winner with that, Shining Minds. Hey, come to Shining Minds, you guys, where the Kool-Aid always flows and you're free to go anytime you want, as long as it's in a body bag. You'll come for the ambiance, but you'll stay for the groove. What? What's groove anyways? I've always wondered what's groove. my church away from church that sells guns of course for the meek shall inherit the earth my friend all they need are some good guns revelation 5 5 it is the most invigorating read and one of the elders saith unto me weep not behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david has prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof uh, it is uh, our savior. It is our savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior. So I started thinking to myself, when the son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? When Christ returns to break the seven seals and bring about the rapture, he returns as a lion, yes? A lion needs teeth. What gun would Jesus choose? Deuteronomy 3247. For there are no empty words for you, but your very life. Or maybe Revelations 1911. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. I don't know what you're talking about. A soldier knows. A soldier always knows. For we have seen the rapture and survived it. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. For every gun is a Bible. For every bullet, a sermon. And for every radio tower that you free from pagans' lies, I will give you something. A reward. It is the will of God. Here. This is for the first one. Vanderport is under attack. We need fighters here Sabah, now. What's happening? We're under attack. Stay away. Oh, shit. I said to them, go forth into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole of creation.
I wish you could remember what it was like back then, Audrey. Your mother and I, with you on her hip, oh, those were the days. She was never happier than she was back then, and I should say the same for myself. We had such plans, not just for our little family, but for Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I long for those days, but then it's too late. like back then, Audrey. Your mother and I, with you on her hip, oh, those were the days. She was never happier than she was back then, and I should say the same for myself. We had such plans, not just for our little family, but for Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I long for those days, but then it's too late. I tried, I really, really did, but this place is ruinous. Try not to let them drag you down, Audrey. Ishwari didn't send you back here for that.
enemy put Badra. Anjay, get her out. I'm all right. The people need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? Thank you. You're okay. <laughs> this is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. I can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. already have enough to answer for. Brother, we need to talk. Sabal, what is it? I'm needed in Banapur, and a meter is focused on the outpost. So it's up to you to help with the hostages. I know it's a lot to ask, but they must be rescued before we take back the outpost. But Amita said... That... The outpost is important, but our top priority should be the lives of those hostages. The people of Kirat depend on the Golden Path for protection. We cannot let them down. Rescue the hostages, brother.
Hostages are safe, Sabah. You're doing your father's name proud, Ajay. This is what he wanted when he created the Golden Path, to help his people. Look, I didn't come here for my father or any of this. We could still use your help, brother. Look at the difference you've made. I know, I'm asking a lot from you, but helping the Golden Path will take you to Lakshmana. I promise you that. We'll find it together. Thanks, Sabah. Ajay, it's Amita. I know that Sabal put you up to rescuing the hostages instead of taking back the outpost. It's okay. You're new here, and Sabal can be very persuasive. I just wanted to do my part. And I appreciate that, but you have to see the bigger picture. I was already making arrangements to deal with the outpost, but now I have to retask my fighters so they can protect the hostages you rescued. Protect them from what? Diplo. He doesn't like losing his playthings. Don't you see, Ajay? There was a plan, and now it's fallen apart. It will be a while before things with Diplo blow over. Meanwhile, the enemy soldiers in that outpost will have plenty of time to dig in. Not if I can help it. Ajay, attacking that outpost on your own would be suicide. Wait until we can give you the proper support. I can do this, Amita. Ajay, don't... First the hostages, then the outpost. 
You're not much of a listener, Ajay, but I have to admit, you've done a good job today. Thanks. It just felt like the right thing to do. Your mother would be proud. You want to reach, uh, what is it, Lakshmana? Uh, getting there won't be easy. We lost the North to Pagan Min years ago, and we're struggling here in the South. I promised my mom I'd bring her ashes there. It was her dying wish. Think about it, Ajay. Your mother knew exactly what would happen once you showed up here in Kirat. The son of Mohan Gale returning to the war-torn land of his birth. <laughs> Ishwani was a smart woman. You being here and helping our cause is no accident. Stand with us, Ajay. Join the Golden Path, and I promise you, you will fulfill your mother's dying wish. Whether it was to spread her ashes at Lakshmana, or to accomplish something greater. Did my parents really start the Golden Path? They did. Their goal was to free Kirat from Pagan's regime. Now you have a chance to help us finish the work they started. Just... Think about it, Ajay. Oh, Mom. Looks like we're staying. <laughs>